Hi folks, this is Enoch and in this video we are taking a look at 15 of my favorite Android applications released this very year. And of course there are tons of such applications and these are just a few I still kept using. So feel free to mention yours in the comments in case it doesn't make this list. Starting with Material Player which is a new utility application launched in July. In fact, I call this the best of the new useful ones. This application breeds form and function well done. So if you've been wishing for a good video player, which aside local videos can also stream online videos, then feel free to install this one. Clean folder arrangement, supports picture in picture, playback gestures, volume boosts and more. And there are no ads and it's free to install. For offline music play applications, there are tons with better functionalities and all. However, most of them still maintain their current UI with just minor updates from time to time. And while we are in the Material 3 Expressive era, check out Pixel Play. Also first released in a few months back, and I think I saw it on X posted by Assemble Debug. So shout outs to him. Function-wise, this application, of course, you get to play your local music. It supports lyrics, creation of new playlists, plus you get to generate a new playlist using Gemini AI. You can adjust the folders selected and on the UI front, it has pretty clean animations, well designed with all the big buttons. So if for just these, you can be satisfied with an offline music play application, then this is free and open source. Although it lacks a whole lot, sleep timer, equalizer, gapless playback and more, but it's the first beta release as at the time of this video, so we'll cut it some slack. It's just the Material 3 expressive design making waves for it. Lotus is another clean and simple offline music player application I love. First released in January this year, it's pretty solid this one. And it's open source, the tabs are cleanly organized and easy to navigate. Plus, you can reorder them. It supports new playlist creation, sleep timer, and has a built-in equalizer. If you prefer function over fancy form, then you should use this one. It's modern too, compared to other simple offline music player applications with old boring interfaces. And these are just 3 out of 15 applications that are pretty new and you'll definitely find useful. Kindly consider subscribing to the channel while we go and for the first time, I'm asking for like targets on a video. So how about we aim for 500 likes on this one since you've already been doing it so well liking my videos past 300 and 400. Thank you and I appreciate it. The next app is called One URL. This one had a fresh update in July of this year but was released first way back in 2023. And when it comes to URL shortening, this should be your go-to application. You can create custom aliases and descriptions, plus you can choose from different shortening services, which is great. And on top of that, you can also quickly generate QR codes, adjust the looks and it's easy to save and share. And it's got a pretty neat user interface as well. The next app is called Taskfolio. This isn't my go-to to-do application, but I love its simplicity. You can create task lists or categories which shows up on the home page and then you add your tasks inside them. It looks similar to Google Tasks so it's familiar. And speaking of Google Tasks, you can sync and have access on this application once you sign in. Plus, Taskfolio is open source. Moving on, Pomodoro is a clean time application you should check and of course it works simply as a timer and comes with some presets for short and long breaks, poco sessions and more. Background music while the timer runs is also included, plus a few customization options. You can see your stats as well. And since the introduction of Material 3 Expressive Design, many applications have jumped on board and still on timer applications, Tomato is a well-designed modern timer application, of course on the Material 3 Expressive Design style. And it's just nice glancing at it. It also comes with timer presets for focus and break times, which you can switch in between right here and you can also set your own time too and customize the alarm. And speaking of Material 3 Expressive, this widget pack called M3 Expressive Widgets has all the widgets you need to make your phone feel the latest design style on Android. You get so many widgets in different categories, including the ones that are responsive to size readjustments on the home screen. The clean, squiggly rounded corners and big buttons being the trademark of the Material 3 Expressive Design runs through all the widgets in this pack. And so if you are a fan, it can work on any Android device and even on tabs as well. So feel free to grab it and create some amazing setups. 
Next on the list is Oceans of AI. And personally, this application is a real life saver. It is filled with tons of AI tools from popular ones to new ones, which are all free to access. And most of them even not requiring an account. You simply tap, it takes you to the site, you just make use of it and that is it. You can mark some as favorites and the search icon is pretty useful. Let's say you want an AI writing tool, you just start typing writing and it will bring up all the available AI writing tools. Same for music, image and more. The app is totally free and runs without ads. It really needs to be appreciated, seriously, it's a real gem. If you're big on privacy, Privacyum is an application that contains a bunch of open source tools arranged neatly in various categories. You get open source calendar applications, emailing applications, file sharing apps, password managers and more. You just tap on what you want and you get direct access to the service. Plus, you can search for tools as well. Next up is Binary Sweeper. This application enables a fast way to free up space on your phone and it's very simple to use. You just choose to scan and you get duplicate and unnecessary files as results, which you can then go ahead and delete. You get to see in detail how much space it is saving you. And similar to Binary Sweeper, we have WhatsApp Cleaner and this one goes specific on your WhatsApp files. To be honest, data from your WhatsApp usage takes more space than you think. So with this application, it digs into your WhatsApp directory once you allow the permission. You'll notice how much space these WhatsApp files take especially videos and documents. You can then go ahead and select files to delete. Pretty simple, plus it is free and open source. Moving on, you can turn raw photos into amazing professional looks with this application called Glit. And for my usage, it's been super useful. It's got filters, adjustment tools, leaks, blur effects, greens, perfects for editing your photos. If you've loved using Snapseed and PixArt, once you try this application, you will never go back, and it's easy to use. Another incredible image editing application I love is called Film Simulator, and this one comes with tons of filters in several categories, letting you create different kinds of looks for your photos. Very useful on images you take raw with your camera. The filters with your previews comes in handy. Photographers will definitely love this application. It is free with no ads and it's open source. And still on images, we have Adima, which is a great photo enhancement tool. And that is just it. You add an image and the app upscales it to a much higher quality. It takes a while though, but the output is incredible. So you can just have this application to enhance low quality photos. And again, it is free to install with no in-app purchases. Of course, there have been some useful Android applications released this year. And these are just a few that I still have on my phone. So let me know down in the comment section if you also know some new applications that you want me to check out and i'll definitely do a part two of this video again consider subscribing to the channel if you found this video useful and let's hit our 500 likes targets for this video and as always thank you for watching